Hello, welcome to a little extra practice. I'm Dr. Thomas Little. Today we're going to look at mean. Mean is the sum of all the digits divided by the number of digits in the data set. Outside of math, the mean is usually called average. So looking at this set of numbers, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to add those six numbers and divide by six. So let me quickly add up the numbers. My sum of the digits was 366. The number of digits that I added was six. So I'm going to divide 366 divided by six using the partial product method. What times six is almost 360? Well, 60 is. Six times six is 36. Add the zero, subtract. Six minus zero is six. Six times one is six. And we have a quotient of 61. In our case, the mean or average is 61. Let's look at another example. The first step is to add the digits. Second step, divide by how many digits there are. In this case, there's five digits. So I'm going to find the sum and then divide by five. The sum of the digits is 155 divide by 5. I'm going to use the partial product method. What times 5 is almost 150? 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 30 would be 150. Subtract. I'm going to bring that down. 5. 5 times 1 is 5. The average is 31. Looking back at the original number set, 18, 21, 14, 13, 89. I put these numbers on a number line. 13, 14, they're all pretty close together. This number line would have to be very long to have 89, be way off the screen. What this is called is an outlier. It's a number that is much larger or much smaller than the rest of the numbers. So all these numbers are kind of grouped together within eight, yet this one is much, much larger than the rest of the numbers. In our case, the average was 31. Well, 31 would also be off the number line, and it would be 10 larger than 21. Here are the two practice problems for a little extra practice. Take your time, read them carefully, especially the second one, hit pause, and hit play when you're ready to see an explanation and check your answer. Good luck. Let's take a look at the first one. We have five numbers, so we're going to add those and divide by five. The sum of the digits is 445. Next step, divide by five. Using the partial product method, I'm looking at what times 5 is going to be close to 440. Thinking of my multiplication facts, 5 times 8 is 40, so 5 times 80 would be 400. Subtract. 5 times 9 is 45. And right now his current average is 89. Let's take a look at this problem. A lot of key information in here. Aaliyah's grandfather and grandmother are both 72. Her mom is 34 and her dad is four years older. So we have 34 plus 38. Aaliyah has two brothers, ages eight and four. And Aaliyah just had her 10th birthday. Now, how many people do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to double check. I have the grandfather, grandmother, mom, dad, Aaliyah, and her two brothers. The sum of their ages is 238. Next step, take 238, divide by 7. Using the partial product method, I'll divide 238, divide by 7. 7 times 30 would be 210. 
subtract. 28, 7 times 4 is 28. And we have our answer. The mean age is 34. Well, thank you for joining me on a little extra practice, and I'll see you on the next video.